What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 357 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Ball series. On the last episode we went negative unfortunately, picking up only one win and two defeats. That took us to 743 wins, 323 defeats, a 420 game differential. Hopefully we can pick up three wins today to get us towards our target of 750 wins and 425 uh, win-loss differential. But we'll have to find out and let's go underway with ball number one. Okay guys, on with ball number one, we're going to lead with a Jolteon versus a Basculin. Now I think I just want to switch out this. I don't want to be hit by a waterfall if I live. More well, that's okay. We have things that can deal with more well. Basically anything that outspeeds could. But he's going to just forfeit the match and we're going to pick up a nice easy win in ball number one. Let's go on to ball number two. What's up guys? Game number two. And we're going to lead with the Sableye. Let's Mega Evolve and go for a... Calm Mind. Magic Bounce. Very nice. We'll get a Calm Mind off. And we can go for a Shadow Ball here. Although that only halves his speed, so he still outspeeds. That's really bad for me. It's gonna spikes, which everything my opponent's doing I'm fine with. I think we may be able to force my opponent to rage quit here, just by setting up. It's gonna be fully powered. What was he gonna go for? I need to check if he has Destiny Bond. Because I can outstall Destiny Bond. Although at the moment I may just go for plus six. Because with Frostlass paralyzed, it's not that much of a threat. A fairy type is a big threat. It's a huge threat, in fact. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. Please say we can live a, a play rough. I would love if you attacked on the special side. I have so much special attack and special defense. It's ridiculous. Okay, hopefully we can go in here. Draining Kiss, not gonna do much at all. I'm guessing that was on the special side. That's gonna do a lot. And we are going to go for another Shadow Ball. Actually, Dark Pulse should kill based on that damage. Because he's going to go up to 22%, like just in 90. So, this should definitely take map. Are you Assault Vest? No. It's just that didn't do nearly as much as I thought with 500 and something special attack. Shadow Ball. Stab. Didn't even kill a Comfy. I know it has good stats. It's like base 500. But I didn't think it would survive a Shadow Ball. So he's going to get restored a bit there. I'm going to take him out with the Dark Pulse. Which is very nice. And what's my opponent's next switching going to be? I'm guessing it's not the frost last. Just a little idea I've got there. It's gonna be a Greninja, which is kind of threatening. I'm gonna Shadow Ball though. Or do I recover? No, I'm gonna Shadow Ball. It obviously outspeeds me. Ice Beam, not gonna do much. Is going to get the freeze though, but we're going to Thor out first turn, which is very nice. We're going to take out Greninja. Critical hit di definitely did not matter on my part. Sure, the Comfy may have survived, but the Greninja was not. Um, I think we go for a Shadow Ball. He's going to live on two. I'm going to recover this turn then. I'm terrified. I think Sableye may be going down. Yes. Because he attacks on the special side. On the physical side. 
Um, based on what he's got, I think I go Lunala. It's safe against the Frostlass because it's paralyzed. Arcanine. Hmm. Regirock? Yeah, I think we'll go Regirock. I know we may have close combat, but I think that's something I'm willing to take. I'm actually going to go Blyskull, predicting the close combat. Boom. Out predicted. We get the poison. We now have poison heal. Um, do I predict the switch and go stealth rocks? I think I do. There's the switch. Mala comes out. We obviously can't poison him because he's a Kormala. I think I may go Regirock. He doesn't get any kind of recovery, from what I know. He, don't, he doesn't get rest. So, we'll just go for a Drain Punch here. Clear off, not going to do too much because he's not a Fairy type. That's a 2 8 KO quite easily. And let's go for an all one. I knew I should have went for a Stone Edge. I knew it. Right, you're going to outspeed... No, I'm actually going to outspeed you, so I'm going to go for a Stone Edge here. It's going to connect. Going to take out the Frostlass. Very nice. And my opponent's going to forfeit. So we're going to pick up a win in ball number two, guys. Let's go on to the third and final ball of today's episode. Okay, guys. Final ball of the day. Um, we're going to lead against a Malmar with a Viper. Not the greatest matchup. We're not actually super effective against it. Hmm. Let's just go for a coil. It's going to knock off. That kind of sucks. We'll get the coil off. He does outspeed. We're going to go for a Sucker Punch, yeah. Doesn't do anywhere near as much as I thought it would. I was expecting way more damage than that. I think Xerneas is a pretty safe switch. I don't know what he can do to Xerneas. I outspeed, I can go for a Geomancy. Because the power head goes off straight away. He can't switch me out, he was obviously trying to. We'll go for Moonblast now. We're fully set up. It's obviously going to one shot because of the fairy aura boosted. Um, Moonblast. Weezing. We have Psy Shock. This should kill. Although Weezing is physically bulky, so it may be able to take one. It can. We're going to take a Sludge Bomb here, but we do have the special defense boost. I think we just go for a Thunderbolt. If he has a Dark type, he'll be going out into it now, so I should have actually went Moonblast. That was wrong play on my part, but I've revealed my entire moveset now, so that's good for my opponent, I suppose. Uh, we'll go for Moonblast here. Fine with me. It's going to crit in one shot. I think that crit my lad. I think it would have only done about 80% without the critical hit. But let's go for an all Moonblast. On the Giraffe Rig, it's our strongest move by far. Unless one of the Allas would be super effective, that's the only way, that's the only reason would go for an Allah move. Unless it was super effective or the Pokemon resisted Moonblast. An Allah Moonblast on a Dunsparce. I do love Dunsparce, but you're not in a good situation here, Dunsparce. You've got Xerneas with plus two, plus two, plus two against you. And finally a bear tick. Now it could have slush rush, in which case it's gonna outspeed and kill me. It doesn't know, and we're gonna take out and get a Xerneas sweep for ball number three. So that's gonna be the end of today's episode, guys. We did manage to pick up three wins, thankfully. Turns our bad runner form around. And takes us to 746 wins. 
323 defeats, a 423 game differential. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe. And from me, Corvus, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.